Welcome to the Practically Friends Podcast. Oh, hecky darn. I drink to forget, but I always remember. Yeah, you didn't follow Poda. What do you, how do you get a job here? Hey, Ma. Oh, thank you. God love you, Jesus Christ. Hey, yo. Oh, Daddy. Well, we can talk about that now. Fucking facts. <laughs> oh, thank you. God love you, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Baba Gaba Gaba. Hey everybody, this is your host of Practically Friends Podcast, Kyle, you know, aka your drunk ass podcast. I'm here with all my practical friends, and let's get the shit show started. Drink on for a minute. Yeah, surprise. All right, all right. Give me that. Give me that reaction again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tuck that down a ways. Down a ways. Like not. Oh. There you go. You know you can just hide self view. No, 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 no. Keep the camera on. <laughs> yeah, no. This is part of part of the part of the thing now. Okay. We're yeah. using cameras this time too, not just audio. Everybody can see oh, you. Uh, Everyone can see you. You're, you're, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's pretty much you're just on the TV. Yeah. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, okay. you're on the I TV. That's in the center of the studio. What do you mean you got scared? What do you? I thought from you the met KGB like, or something. I thought you met like everyone that like listens to the podcast could see me or whatever. Uh, everybody from <laughs> Singapore, I think you're fine. <laughs> oh my god. No, Singapore is number five right now. I'm not actually number four. Yeah, it's either number four or number three, I'm pretty Look sure. Last time. But everybody everybody uh, uses uh, VPNs nowadays, so... Right. Listens or listens, I think. Yes, yes, they are. Ew, Casey, why am I inverted? <laughs> what? I'm inverted. <laughs> you, like, you don't see me how I see me right now. She can't see what you're doing, honey. I know. All right, hold on. Salem. <laughs> Check your messages, Salem. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is why I need Salem, a fucking... listen to Davenport. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, wait. No, Dominic just sent me a fucking picture of me messing with my piercing. <laughs> no, it's uh, Daventhorpe. It's Davenport. It's Davin. Oh. Daventhorpe. Sorry, Davenport. It's Dunthorpe. Dunthorpe. Oh, hi. <laughs> okay, so you hi. might. I don't know. I, <laughs> I I can't do more, other than this. Hey guys, welcome to episode eighty of Practically Friends podcast. <laughs> uh, I want to welcome Salem, fucking around with hi. her piercings and her nose. <laughs> and then I want to welcome uh, Dunlop. It's Davenport. Daventhorpe. Daventhorpe. All right, Thorpe. Junior, whatever. <laughs> and then really also we have Davenport. Casey uh, here in the studio. And obviously, I am your host. Uh, so, yeah, happy 80th, everybody. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> wow, the enthusiasm is earth shattering. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's okay. For episode so 100, I have a whole plan. I have a whole plan for episode 100. Whole ass plan? Whole ass plan. Uh oh. That scares me. Well, <laughs> that genuinely well I'm going to have to do this, and then I'm going to turn my fucking 
thing off. off cause I'm ergly. Hey. I'm ergly. <laughs> I'll fuck you up. No. Like all the way. Stop her. <laughs> Salem can't control me. Do you know how much impulsive shit I did in our years of friendship? Yes. <laughs> hey, Salem. What? Eyebrows. <laughs> See, I don't have any side jokes. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know I was, either, man. I, I barely even knew Salem to begin with. Oof. I'm, Oof, I'm, I'm honestly tempted to do it again. No. They won't go back this time. Yes, they will. <laughs> See, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> no, wow. whenever her and I were friends, like in my sophomore year of high school, couple fighting. I tried, I tried to slit my eyebrows, and I fucked it up, so I just shaved them off. Woof. <laughs> Woof. And then I shaved my head the next day. Oh my I'm, god! I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm Did you look like Kyle? Caillou? <laughs> you missed oh it. Okay. God. Look at her. When, Look at her. When I was fucking sixteen. You can ask Salem. I was with um, <laughs> B from Michigan. Caillou. <laughs> oh, don't bring up that name. Oh. Wait, what name? B. It's an initial. But yeah, but it is. Just go I, ahead and say it so I can. I'm going to. It was a female I was with. Remember, we were playing that game, and the cheese shop that I never opened <laughs> is to brie to not to brie. Yeah, so, I remember that. That was a good fucking name. I was going quibbage. through this for whole quibbage. ass what identity is. crisis, Quibblash. okay? And I thought I was trans, so I wanted to cut my hair super short and, like, do everything the way that, you know, a guy is supposed to do. <laughs> and I was on the phone with Bree. What was that? Hold on. What was that? Was that Ozzy? I just heard... <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, if you heard anything, didn't come from me. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Anywho. That so, could be funny later. I was shaving my fucking head, right? And I'm on the phone with my ex and one of my friends, who I'm still friends with to this day. And I'm using the phone back here and the fucking mirror up here. And I'm just going at it, fucking shaving my head. My dad made me go to a doctor's appointment the next day with circles shaved out of my hair. And, like, I didn't even get it all. I, I had fucking splotches, and my dad looks at me and goes, you want to look like that? I'm going to let you parade around like that. So you're going to the doctor like that, and I'm not fixing it for a month. I looked at him, I go, fine. And then I just buzzed my whole head. And I looked at him, I go, you ain't got to fix it now. We. <laughs> so, yeah, everybody, welcome to the Practical <laughs> Friends podcast. Uh, I appreciate you all listening. Jesus Christ, that was a hell of an intro. <laughs> um, I'm mentally unstable. We knew this. Oh my god! Oh. That's a long oh. story. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I think it's an understatement, but we're fine. This is something that I think uh, Casey sent me about the fight between <laughs> Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Oh God! It's called the billionaire what? brawl. They agreed to actually like have a cage fight, bro. What the hell? I'm about to play it right now. Oh my God! Oh, oh damn it! <laughs> Stupid ads. <laughs> Stupid ads. Well, here's the thing: we can't even fucking hear her. So. Former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee. Uh, I'm gonna adopt the expression on Elon Musk's face when he went, "Yeah, <laughs> election interference." <laughs> Governor Huckabee, your reaction. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. And I just find myself more and more impressed with Elon Musk every time I hear him talk. And this is a guy that just doesn't care if people like what he says, but he says what he thinks. And he really caught that reporter completely off guard. The reporter was thinking, uh, yeah, what about those conspiracy theories? <laughs> and Musk basically just what? shoved it right up both nostrils and said, <laughs> Look at that. just sniff that a while, big boy. <laughs> I mean, it was election interference. And polls is, show... This isn't really real, is it? I don't know. I saw it on Facebook. I thought it was cool. Fox News posted it, so I sent it to you. Uh, that's, that's a thing there. There you go. Oh, no, she's muted. That's... Uh. Salem! Excuse me. No unmuting, or no muting. We, we Sorry, I'm talking to my boyfriend. <laughs> of course. 
Ask him if he thinks it's real. If uh, was it Elon Musk and Zuckerberg is going to fight? Do you want to ask him yourself? Yes, I do. Okay, hang on. Hold on. Um, Let me turn my camera on so he knows who who's who. Okay, so I'm I'm in a call with him right now. Ah. Um, well, wait. Can he? Can you make him into this call? Well, I'm in I'm in Discord, so. I don't think he has messenger. We we do have Discord. You want to disconnect and then uh, go on Discord? I I don't. I mean, I don't know because I don't really know if he's like comfortable talking with like new people. But okay, well then I'm just sure ask, if you ask, just, just ask him. Just ask him and then, and then uh, you know whatever. All right, cool. All right, so all that's happening. I'm hearing all this shit. About this Titanic bound sub- submersible and how it uh, was a catastrophic implosion with all these rich fucking bigwigs yeah. on board. Yep. I'm just now the hearing about it. Has diabetes. I think it happened like Tuesday. Yeah. Sounds about so. right. But I thought it was I thought it was named Titanic. I was like, I ain't getting on nothing named Titanic. Kyle. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, ma'am. He said yes. He'll do it. Yes, sir. Can we hear it, everybody? Okay, so uh, Jacob is not joined yet. Uh, Alright, cool. I just see, like, these alien kitties waving at me. <laughs> alien kitties? Yeah, in the, in the general chat. Oh, yeah. They had to walk me through it. Yeah. Oh wait, hold on. There's somebody here. Hello, buddy. Hello, not communist. Hello, what? Communist. <laughs> Easy. Wait, who said that? Huh? That was Chico. Was that was that our new friend? Yes. Hello, person. Hello, Hello. person. Yes. Hello. <laughs> How do you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. How are you? Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, 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 what, 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 what can I call you by? I mean, I don't know if you're comfortable, but my name is Kyle. I'm the host of the said podcast. Okay, sick. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. What's your name? Jacob. My name is Jacob. Jacob? Yeah. Nice to meet you, buddy. Nice to meet you, man. So, other than uh, Salem... Over here, she was on here and on another uh, podcast episode. I don't know if you heard about it, but um, we're sitting here with Casey, and we're sitting here with Junior Dun uh, Dunforp, Dunthorpe, whatever his name is, <laughs> Davenport. Shut up! Your opinion is invalid right now. Okay. Yeah, I'll turn. I'll turn this whole podcast around, and we'll go on. <laughs> so yeah, dude. Thanks for coming coming on, dude. Yeah, man. I'm glad to be on here. Have you uh, given it a chance, the podcast, at all? Yeah. Give me your honest opinion. You're not a fan, are you? It's pretty good. Ah. Dude, you're not going to hurt my feelings. I really want to hear something. No, no, no. I'm serious. I'm serious. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay, how far back did you go? Um... I don't even know. Well, like 30 or 50? 30? 37's my favorite. 37? Yeah, I laughed so hard that I uh, I thought that I was given birth. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, and uh, my, my face, my back, my neck, all up in my crack 
was hurting. What? Oh my god! I was laughing Excuse so me? fucking hard. They uh, they introduced me to some guy on YouTube, uh, Brendan something. I forget uh, his name. Remember his name? I'm trying to think. Brendan, uh, Brendan Rogers. No. Oh my god! Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, it was Brandon Rogers. Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah, it's like. I think like, his name's Brandon. Not Brandon, Brandon Rogers, like nobody's getting pregnant on my jungle gym. <laughs> so yeah, so I lost my shit on that one. But yeah, dude, thanks for uh, agreeing to be on the podcast. Yeah. Are you at work right now? Uh, no, no, I'm at home. Oh, what are you just in different rooms and gaming? Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude, isn't that the secret to marriage? Yeah, I would say so. What do you plan? Me, I, I was early. I was playing. Uh, what was I playing? I was playing a uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Was Rainbow Six. Yeah. Okay, so you're a FPS guy. All right. What yeah. about you, Salem? What What are you playing? Um. Other shit. than Other than your luck <laughs> with this creme de la creme guy you have <laughs> um i mean i just recently got in the vr chat so that's not a game it's yeah that's not a game platform shut up is it not a game it, it, it's a game but it's not a game at the same time it's like very... so is it like scribble knots because i could fuck with some scribble knots certain aspects where you write down something in your, in your notepad and nah. then it happens. I always summon Cthulhu. Of course you did. Yeah. <laughs> I always Cthulhu will fuck like, Santa up. By I the way. always summon stuff like Michael Myers and crap. No, dude. Cthulhu will fuck Santa up. Cthulhu? Cthulhu on Scribble yeah. Nuts. Oh, Scribble Nuts. Fuck yeah. The amount hey, that I just wrote is terrifying. What? The amount that I just wrote is terrifying. Yeah, all I heard was tick 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 tick. Oh my god, she wrote a fucking book. <laughs> all right, how about you uh, help? Can uh, can you? Are you ready to contribute to the episode now? I tried to say Me? it really nicely. I I did contribute to the episode. I'm the reason Salem called in. I know. I could. Have so, I so you're just gonna you're <laughs> just gonna lean contribute. back. You're just gonna lean. Yeah. yeah, her hands are behind her head and everything. <laughs> this bitch, I swear. Salem, if I wanted to. Huh? I could have invited Salem. I have her Shut on up, Facebook. you didn't. I, I did. Shut up. I will turn this podcast around, guys. I oh, swear no. To God. oh, no. Oh, no. I'm scared. My table is broken. <laughs> she I'm said not. I'm it's, scared. It's all good. It's part of, part of the I'm podcast. in danger. <laughs> so, are you guys at least off for the weekend? Yeah. All right, yeah. good. What do you do, my friend? What do you do? Uh, I work on at a place called the on a military base. Yeah, it's like um, it's like a. That sounds really familiar on- to a company that I used to supply for. If 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 you supplied towards like uh like a base or a store on like a military base, it could have been that. No, nah, maybe it was uh, it was uh, I I'm a fabricator, so I don't know. It's probably oh, okay. not the same thing. Uh, it's like a, just like a store. Just you could just go there buy, you know. Glass, oh, we can all just go uh, there. Well, yeah. You, then yeah, why are we doing there. it on the, on the internet? We can all just meet there. Apparently. You want to do it? <laughs> if you're near one, it. I would. If you're near one, I will meet you there, son. <laughs> oh man, I'll see you. <laughs> no, so what? So what? Like uh, shipping and receiving and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, basically. Yeah, I did that for a while. It's fucking gravy, ain't it? Hey, it's, it's pretty nice. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, we uh, we used to have... <laughs> I used to uh, drive a forklift for... Out in PRP. And um, the thing is, is that the, the drains... For like whenever it rained or whatever. Or whenever the ice melted. It would just like pull in this one section... Of, of my built my building right so you know you, you steer with the back end yeah on forklift so i would i would go backwards oh, and god. try and fucking tokyo drift around oh my, god. my friend's line why can i imagine oh, that yeah like why hey that's, hey i did it every time i can genuinely imagine that it was so fucking fun 
And you know those uh, tires are just flat as hell. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't imagine that. I had a I had a buddy at a warehouse where he was uh he had an accident with a forklift. He accidentally knocked over all the shelves in the in the warehouse. Like that infamous video from uh Yes, like one of those videos. Like exactly. Home Depot or whatever. Mm -hmm, exactly. Where it just like domino yeah. down. Yes, exactly. He he hit one of the uh, the big shelves and they all knocked down. Okay, so what's your biggest fuck up with the forklift? Um, <laughs> I surprisingly I haven't had any. Really, Whoa. I would say I, I'm, I I would say I got close to like he's getting flustered, y'all. Over stuff. <laughs> he really is. <laughs> I got. I, I got. I would say I got. I got close to knocking over stuff, but I wouldn't say I had any fuck up. I had this fucking Peruvian asshole like sideswipe me, and Ooh. his like I was in an electric forklift. He was in a propane one, and I was doing like you know honk honk, you know like trying to like back out into a lane. The motherfucker just sideswiped me and looked at me like I had two heads. There's such thing as propane. Oh, I about clips? spat on his fucking pumas. I swear to God. Oh my God. Pumas. Anyways, but no, I um. Let's see. On fork, there was a guy. There was this hippie guy. You know, like uh, you ever? Obviously, you have to take um, you know, stuff like inventory out of trucks, correct? Yeah, I do. Okay, like uh. You do them out of like like big like tractor trailers, correct? Mm -hmm. Do you ever try and do you ever have to take things out of like box trucks? Uh, not, uh, not really, not really. Well, God's looking down on you because I got a story to tell you. Oh God! Okay, here we go. <laughs> Ready? All right. You know, like those like uh, was a DHL. You know, box big box trucks. You know, or like you yeah. all, or so something equivalent to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you know how they like back up to your building, and then you have to lock it in and do the ramp, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So my friend was trying to get these armrests because we were making like door panels for like Ford trucks and shit like that. So we were trying to get like us. Uh, I don't know. It was something stupid like. I want to say like sound padding or um, armrest for a certain kind of, you know, Ford truck. And yeah. the thing is, when you go over that ramp, even though it's docked, it sinks down like two and a half feet. Yeah. I mean, and then you get your stuff and then it sinks down even further and you can't even get up on. The... So we would try and like scoot the shit closer to the end of the truck. And this guy was trying to get it really quick. And when he backed out, he actually pushed the truck forward. <laughs> oh, and then, oh, no. then, oh, no. then he, he fell ass first in between the building and the truck. Oh, God. And then wow. I guess they, they pulled the truck forward and he went, go, go, go. And then. And I see him coming up the drive, you know, this big fucking bay door. And he's got like bleeding from his head and shit. You know, the cage above you. Oh, God. oh yeah. yeah I, it, it, wow. it, it, it fucking creamed in like a sardine can. <gasps> oh, yeah. But he was fine. It's like, I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it was the funniest yeah. shit. He ended up getting fired because he was an old hippie and he smoked weed. Oh my god! Wow. Yeah, never be me. <laughs> no, that, there, there was some cool shit. Did you ever learn how to um, pick up a coin with a forklift? Uh, no, I no, but uh, I remember uh, one of my coworkers was trying to get me to do that. He brought like a a quarter, and he was trying to get me to do that. It's easier with a nickel or a dime. Uh, nickel. Uh, nickel? Oh, well. Yeah, because it has that, that flat, uh, it's a little bit thicker than the other ones. Yeah. Well, what you do is that. like you drive up, you lay your forks down, and you drag it across mm -hmm. as you back up, and it'll flip onto your fork. Ah. Yeah, dude. I'm telling you, I won so many lunches that way, and I give that gift to you, my, my good sir. 
Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. I will take that. Just drag, the, drag the, it back, the, and then it'll flip backwards. A penny, you can probably do it, but it, you can only do it once because you'll smush it. You can smush oh. a penny? Oh, fuck yeah, you can. I mean, I, I've heard of, like, trains smushing them, but... Do you, do you know how heavy a forklift is? No, I don't. Was it four to ten tons? Or no, no, four to ten thousand pounds. So, four to five tons. Yeah, depending on the one that you're driving. A standard issue one is, uh, what do you say? Uh, there, 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 bud? Uh, I, don't, I actually don't know. I think it's like four to five tons. So yeah, that's, would, that's probably would, about yeah. ten Maybe. to fifteen thousand pounds. That's eight to ten thousand. Yeah, that's that's whatever. I, I'm not I'm not a mathematician. I'm a welder. Pounds to a ton. Okay. Don't don't. Oh, you weld? Don't 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 look at me like you know math and like you're better than me, Junior. Okay, I, I will turn this podcast right better around. Or better. Dick. I ain't being a dick. <laughs> Having oh, trouble. Oh, no, man. You sound kind of dickish right now. Oh, just... what happened? <sighs> Salem, just you're not saying anything. anything. Let's hear from you. What's going on with you? Yeah, come on. Let's, let's, come on, Salem. Yeah. <laughs> um, Salem. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Satisfy? <laughs> I can't even believe it. Um, oh, my God. <laughs> I mean... Not much has really been going on with me. I I just got paid today. That's that's something. Um, woot woot. <laughs> I bought my sister her birthday present. Um, How old your sister? And my sister is turning seventeen. Holy shit! Congratulations. <laughs> well, apparently, uh, I still think of your sister as that uh, little fourteen-year-old hmm? girl I met. Baby, you want to get that closer to her, or do you want to use that one? I'm fine, babe. Well, Promise. I'm just trying to get the sound good. Is mine okay? Yeah, yours is fine. Cool. Don't you worry, Junior. <laughs> Junior. What? Junior. Check your phone. I saw. <laughs> okay. All right. What's your name, sir, again? Again? Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, that's right. I, why was I thinking Roger? What the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck is Roger? Roger? This guy that I'm talking to, if you don't mind. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I think oh Salem might have something to say about so, that. So, Roger. Um, <laughs> What's up? Uh, yeah. Um, so, can you believe... You know Casey, right? No. No? Uh, no, he doesn't. Okay. I don't think so, no. All right. Well, there's some basic bitch that I'm dating. That's fine. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's my fiance. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, thank you. And you should have said I'm sorry. It would have been way funnier. But anyways, oh. you know that she's never seen any lick of Star Wars. And I tried to show her Indiana Jones, and she turned her nose up to it, pretty much. Which I, means you, you, you've never seen Star Wars? No, I have not. I Never haven't either. You, you, you've you, missed out. Hold up. Wait, I just want to say something. How have you not seen Star Wars, but your birthday is May the fucking 4th? And what? <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I have a reason. My worse. birthday's wow. October 13th. Say so what? That's. I said that's even worse. It's what? way worse. Yeah, I know. Dude, it's, it's not okay, but my friend. Why? You got you got to watch Star Wars. You at least got to watch like two two of the movies. But they just they don't seem interesting they to me. They aren't entertaining. <sighs> have you have you hold on, have you watched them before? No, I have not. They just So then how do you know they're not interesting? You can't you can't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> sure I can. People do it to me all the time. Um, okay, racist. <laughs> He's a movie racist. Uh yeah, I agree. No, it's, <laughs> here's the thing. It's like she says, like, I want a movie night with you. And we watch The Fault in Our Stars. And it's like, I was like, this is going to be like a white bummer ass movie. And like, I don't want to watch this. But then I'm in. Like, less than 10 minutes in, I'm in. And it's a very good movie. I didn't think I was going to like it. But guess what? I gave it a fucking shot. 
I gave Star Wars a shot for the first movie, and it did not entertain me. Which one? The very first one that came out. Episode four? A New Hope? Yeah. Well, you're young. That don't mean <laughs> shit. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Prove it. Okay, what's your birthday? October 13th. What year? 2005. Okay, I win. Anyways. My God. I'm young blood. I, I'm <laughs> sorry that we don't have a lot of good guests right here other than you and Roger. <laughs> oh, no problem, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? What is it again? I'm going to say it right. What? Your name. name? Jacob. Jacob. Oh, it's, uh, Jacob. It's, uh, yeah, there you Why go. am I there thinking you Roger? Because you keep saying Roger. I, I, I'll take Roger. I'll be <laughs> Roger. He said I'll his take name, Roger. Say on his name <laughs> Roger now. Hell, this, this kid over here uh, to my right is not even named uh, Davenport. It's Dominic. But I call, we Dominic. call him uh, Dunlop and, or Daventhorpe. Or Dunthorpe. Yeah, Dunthorpe. Davenport. Or shit on our shoe if he pisses us off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Ew, gross. Ow. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, so Jacob. Yes. Okay, yes, I did it right. Cool. Can you tell me, yeah. or are you up to date on this bullshit about um, the uh, submersible going to Titanic? Oh yeah, yeah, I am. Really? Because I've been kind of, I've been kind of hibernating all week, so I only know a little bit. So can you? Are you uh, yeah, yeah. okay with like giving me up to speed? Yeah, yeah. So um, basically, this uh, this company called I think it's called like oh something Ocean. Um, uh, do you know what it's called? Oh, let me look it up. Well, I've got constant. I mean, I've got so many fucking articles on this. I I, I can't. I don't. I don't know what the no, the company's name, but the company basically they're they're. Like why do, why do I have Why do I have a feeling that it has something to do with James Cameron? What? I don't think it does. But how cool would it be if it if it did? That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. But right. um, yeah. So it's a, it's a small company that uh recently started doing, like deep sea dives to the titanic for like rich people it's yeah like, like a quarter grand. mil right yeah, yeah no yeah it's a, yeah it's 200 grand uh and uh it was it was in this small submarine the size of like a minivan that was like the size of the inside yeah and i'm looking at a graph was, right now um mm -hmm. of it showing like mm -hmm. like the actual depth Yep. So, uh, please continue. I'm, I'm trying to bring this up for everybody here, but yeah, please continue. Yeah. So, um, so they, they take people like five people down to go see the Titanic close up and, and they didn't do many test runs with it. So like they did it probably five other times prior to the incident that happened recently. And, uh, when they went down the with these people, uh, five or one of the one of the five people was the CEO and founder of the company. Oh, really? Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, they uh, they went down, and as they got down, they lost communication with the ship and every or yeah, they lost communication with the boat. Um, and they couldn't they couldn't get any any anybody to go help them because they were you know, they're so far down. Okay, so, so um, how how soon? I hate to interrupt you, but like I, I yep. remember seeing or hearing something about somebody having like a remote control PlayStation controller. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so that's what that's what they use to control it to like move it around. They what from the above? Old, no, no. Like inside the submarine, they use the okay. old PlayStation controller. That's so, they, that. That's that's how they control it. But they also they have to have like a captain or a pilot there in the the vessel, correct? Yeah, so so the the CEO was the 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 captain basically, okay. uh, and uh, he used a old PS3 controller to control the entire submarine. When you say old PS3 controller, like a used one, 
just a PS3 controller. No, not a used one. I wouldn't say. I'm gonna say it's like, is it got a sticky button? Is that why everybody died? It could have been. Uh, <laughs> stick drift, maybe. Dude, uh, I'm those. telling you, the fucking circle button all the time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I agree it with is you. True. Fuck you, circle and square. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Circle God and damn it. B on the Xbox controller. Yeah, and the B on the Xbox. Okay, continue, sir. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so, uh, no, 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 no problem. So, um, they they go down and they lose communication, and there was no way for them to speak to anybody above the surface. And they had 90, I guess, like 94 hours of, like, emergency oxygen. They keep them alive just in case something like this happened. So, they, um, they go down. A couple days go by. Their oxygen is depleting faster and faster. Well, didn't they say and they then, had like 96 hours? Yeah, yeah. So they had 96, but um, it was they were down there for a couple of days. Articles didn't start coming out until like a day or two later. Okay. So, so, when did they go down? Uh, just so we can recap real quick. When did they go down? I actually... What, no. like beginning of the week or something? I think it was Tuesday. Yeah, I would say the beginning of the week. Yeah, Tuesday or, or something or other? I'm sure it was Tuesday. Yeah, something like that. Okay, okay. I'm back with you. So so they go down, and they they only have a certain amount of oxygen. A couple of days go by, they're losing oxygen. They still can't find them, and they're using – they're getting the military, the Coast Guard. They're getting, like – everybody to try and find them and this was um, all to just go down and see the titanic which is right there in the middle exactly. of the pond between us and the uk right yeah exactly so that's that's obviously um uh what do you call it international waters and that's in the yeah. atlantic right which yeah. is very uh uh fucking very volatile yeah you know obviously mm-hmm. so yeah go ahead sorry yeah I, I, no, I I'm fine. so I'm so sorry I keep interrupting. I'm just really into this. No, you're no, you're fine. You're fine. Um, so yeah, so they go down, and they're they're like at the bottom, and so they're using like anything they can to try and see if there's a signal of them alive, and as they get to the last final days of them having their oxygen. So they were down um, there for num- num- like more more than one day, like yeah, yeah. days. Yeah, they were down there. Yeah, days days. So um, they they start to lose oxygen and they start to lose pressure in the, the in the submarine because they're so far down uh, in the ocean. And eventually, uh, I think it was yesterday when they announced that they died or the day before, um, the submarine imploded. So it crushed everybody in an instant because of the pressure. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But that yeah, that's how they that's how they all died. That was the, wow. the whole thing. Yeah. Got squished like a bug. Baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's not wrong. She's not wrong. It happened. She's at not wrong. So <laughs> yeah. It's not wrong. No, but like uh I remember watching YMH one time and um it was just like this random effect, you know, like how like pipes run under, you know, like the seafloor and stuff. And like the pressure differential. They actually cut like like remotely, they cut like with a uh, like you know cutting wheel, mm-hmm. and this king crab got sucked into a an eighth inch gap into that pipe, mm-hmm. yep. in half a second because of all that pressure. Yeah, it's 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 called something. I forget what it's called, but if you look up YMH with Johnny Pemberton, I'm sure it's gonna come up. But no, we're uh. We're kind of skimming through some of the some of the articles here now. It was out here, out there, past. Well, like, let's see. Who is it right past My, US by US. Newfoundland? Newfoundland. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, ocean yeah, it's, it's, uh, Ocean Gate CEO. Claimed sub was safer than scuba diving. Yeah, supposedly. Yeah. Oh, and there's text messages. Text messages right here. I'm seeing. Oh yeah, there's yeah, there's text messages with uh the Stockton. The, uh, yeah, the day before it was one of the uh, February third. Let's see. Yeah, very stupid. The pressure is over a hundred million pounds. No sperm whale or squid is ever going to be able to mess with the sub. 
while there's obviously risk there's obviously risk it's way safer than flying a helicopter or even scuba diving yada 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 and there hasn't been even an injury in 35 years and a non-military sub uh this that and their thing yada 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 man he's probably lucky that he died with them because he'd be fucking paying out the dick yeah yeah <laughs> yeah oh my god yeah um i mean those poor people though i mean at least it was instant you know if you have to yeah, uh, if there's a way to go that's a way to go yeah it, it sucked too because um oh i'm sure it of, sucked buddy <laughs> no no but like but like <laughs> um, I, bet, I bet it did but uh but to, to, wait can i get a drink of the, water <gasps> <gasps> done <laughs> yeah done um <laughs> but uh two of the passengers was uh were father and son this one oh really billionaire yeah, so this one billionaire from this i i can't remember what country he's from but this one billionaire probably uh son, what um uh, like uh was it abu dhabi or whatever the emirates yes <laughs> the gamma uh, it, it was yeah it was, it was i think it was a country in europe a small country in europe oh uh, okay probably one of the slavic countries or something other yeah, it's something like that. Yeah. But yeah, him and his son were on that too, and they both died. Man, can you imagine? Holy shit. No, I couldn't. Oh. I couldn't. <laughs> hey, it's a lot better than oh, burning to death. Yeah, that I would say. I think that's so. that's probably one of the worst ones. Is burning yeah, burn to death or death. suffocating. Yeah, suffocating is probably. Yeah. I'd say burning to death is probably worse. I, I I think I think the best way to die if I had to, is to freeze to death. Because you just kind of go to sleep. Yeah. I mean, you're I mean, a they, little they, you're a little uncomfortable. Yeah. 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 You just go to sleep. Yeah. And I could, I mean, I, I could sleep with the best of them. I do just want to say, technically, they did kind of suffocate because the water did fill their lungs. So. See, I figured somebody was going to say something about that. But... The reason it, the reason why we're uh, making this different than that uh, is because it was so instant. All that pressure, yeah. it was it was instant. Not only blunt force trauma, mm -hmm. and and uh, you know, fucking, it's pretty much just be, like being in space, but like instead of a vacuum, it's positive pressure instead of negative. Yeah, yeah, man. But yeah, yeah. You're, you're not uh, wrong, Salem. Yeah, you're not wrong. I, I think I uh, earlier today I saw a, a video that they released. I don't know if I can find it again. A small, like five second video of a camera that was inside. You couldn't oh see God. any of them. You couldn't see any of them. Um, but basically, the camera just shows a like little five second clip of like right before it imploded. And wow, you can see. You can see the inside, sort of. You can't really see anybody. Like, like buckling or like a crack or something? Yeah, yeah. Like, Oh, my God. Crack, can like you imagine crack. how fucking terrifying that would be? Yeah. That, like a yeah. crack. Yeah. Or just like, Kung, you know, like. Yeah, so, no, no. It, it was it was like, it was, uh, no, I would say, and there was like, there was a, there was a crack and then it instantly happened. Oh, I'm sure. With all that yeah, pressure. So, yeah, exactly. Oh so in the in the video, you could see the back of it, I think, and well, like, like oil can. I would, uh, I would I would say like the back of the inside, the back of the inside. No, but I'm saying like when it like caved in, like it's probably like oh, an yeah, oil, yeah. like an old like yeah, exactly. oil like can. an oil can. Yeah, exactly like an oil can. Man, I, I can only imagine. Yeah. yeah, no, um, but in the in the in the little video. You see the back. And it's of not it. like you can just hold your breath and just like float up. I mean, you're no. miles down. Exactly. Yeah. You're, it's like a fourteen thousand feet below. So what is that? Two miles. Like, about two two miles and some change, or, at least. Or, or, or not? Never mind. Not fourteen. Yeah. Never mind. One maybe mile is five thousand two hundred and eighty feet. But yeah, maybe it's a uh, fourteen thousand miles and or maybe it's fourteen thousand yeah. leagues. <laughs> it's something with a four. <laughs> something something four. Four. No, it's, it's probably 4,000 feet. Still, 4,000 feet. 
I mean, that's that's almost two miles. I heard they were like two yeah. and a half miles it, cause, under Because the they water. got super close to the bottom of the... Uh, they got super close to the bottom. What, to the trench? Or, uh, yeah, to the... Or no, well, no, 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 no. If the... they're going down for the Titanic, mm-hmm. then they're only, you know, what, about maybe a mile down? Yeah. But uh, Mariana's Trench, I think that's, what, like four miles down. Yeah, Mariana's Trench is like the deepest part of the ocean. That was the graphic that we were just actually watching while you were um, talking about it. Like, it was actually putting it in perspective, you know, like the Eiffel Tower and, you know, like the Empire State Building and shit like that. Oh, man. I, I think if you hit Mount Everest and it still has room, like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't be um, surprised. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Oh, man. Shit. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> have, have you ever had a, uh, a scare like that? Or not like that, obviously, but, like, have you ever felt like you were about to die? <laughs> And like some kind of yes, let's yes. hear it. Let's hear it. Like in a, in a, in a, like a what? Like in what? What situation? Just like a scary. I don't know. Whichever situation. one that you're willing to share. Um. Yeah. So I was a. Uh, I was a. Uh, I, w- I would say I was fishing with my uncle. Fishing. And this has to do with water too. Yeah, I was fishing with my uncle. Okay. And I, I caught I, I I caught a big fish. I, I I don't know what fish I I was uh, I was like six maybe. Um, oh, I can't wait. So to hear I caught it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, was, I think so I know I was, where it's uh, going, six, but I can't wait to hear I, it. Six. I caught a big fish, and <laughs> and I tried pulling it up, but I had no like like I'm six. I have no balance. I you know I blah blah. blah. Pulls me. You're in. walking like a newborn deer. Yeah. Yeah, it, it pulls me in. I didn't have a life vest on, <laughs> right? I hardly knew how to swim. And wait, hold on. Are you fishing to... from like the shore or like on a boat? No, on a boat. On a boat. <laughs> <laughs> on a boat. So I hardly know how to swim. And fish pulls me, right? For some reason, I hold on to the fishing rod. I hold on to the fishing rod, and I'm pulled down more and more. I don't have a life vest. On. Wait, you're you're under you're underwater and it's just dragging yes. you down. Yes, yes. Because I want to let go. This yes. is the most metal story I've ever heard in my <laughs> life. So, yes. So the, I'm holding. I want to draw a cartoon of this story. Dude, it was, it's so funny when I think about it. But it was like the scariest moment of my life. I'm holding on to this fishing rod, and and I'm not letting go for some reason. And finally, I let go, and. <laughs> I'm slowly going up to the surface, yeah. but I'm struggling. And I'm so scared because I didn't know what I caught, and I didn't know how big the fish was. And I thought there was, like, crocodiles You caught a second chance, my friend. Yes, yes. I thought there was crocodiles or something next to me. So I'm freaking Where out. Where were you at? I was like, get me out of the water. Where were you uh, at? I was, in, uh, I, I was in South Carolina, somewhere in South Carolina. Well, gators could be there. All right. Go ahead. That's what I'm saying. So, That's what I'm um, saying. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm super scared, and I'm yelling, and I'm at, like yelling for my uncle to get me out. Finally, I get out, and I like I'm not traumatized, I guess, from fishing, but like I'm <laughs> so careful when fishing. So I'd be careful. traumatized if some bitch ass fish brought me down so to their I, lair and their I, environment. I, I don't. Think I, I ain't huge. supposed to be there. You ain't supposed to be there. It's on their well, turf, man. It's, hey man, it's, it's home I was, advantage. Hey, man. I, it's, either, it's either I caught something, came on with dinner, or nothing. <laughs> oh, so, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. I'm, I'm wondering if it was a sturgeon. I don't even think it was a huge fish. I think I was just weak, and the fish was strong, and pulled me in. <laughs> Still a fucking awesome story. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. That's, no, aw- that's going to be a highlight for sure. Of course, man. <laughs> What about you guys here in the studio? What? You ever had like a near death experience or like you felt like you were about to die? Oh fuck yeah. Even though you may not have? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's let's uh hear yours first. Ladies first. No, let him go first. All right. Junior. <laughs> when I was Junior. a baby, I I had when I was born, I wasn't breathing. Well, so it that's, was okay. Like, no, All right, no, wait a wait the fucking like podcast automatically. down. It was like maybe an 
hour or two after I was born, I just randomly stopped breathing. Yeah, but I'm talking about like something like, okay, I'm sorry that you had to go through that, <laughs> but whoa, <laughs> whoa, that's all. That's whoa. all. That's a little heavy we don't for the. Care that you almost died when you were a baby. Okay, we're talking about. Yeah, we don't yeah. give a shit about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. We're talking about real, re- real nickel stuff. <laughs> Something okay. you can remember. Yeah, stuff that, like, you're an experience. We're sorry that you almost died, and we're glad you're here. <laughs> okay? But, like, give us something that uh, you were, like, you were aware of. I mean, I have one. <laughs> All right, go ahead so he can think. Yeah. Okay. So, th- okay. I just want to say the amount of times I've almost gotten hit by cars is fucking crazy. <laughs> Um, that wait, is not wait, what you say. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Salem, do you play Crossy Road for a living? <laughs> Dude, oh, uh, okay. No. So the first I think time she I needs a home health, home health aid to say, like, okay, look, we're crossing now. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta make sure okay, there's no cars. So the first time I ever almost got hit by a car was I was like going up and down my neighborhood on my like on my bike. And, um, what kind of bike I'm was like it? about, um, wait, what, what kind of bike was it? Was it standard issue? It was a standard fucking princess issue. bike. I don't know what it was. <laughs> Two wheels and handlebars in a seat, right? No, I was like, oh my God, I was still in elementary school. It so had I was Two so wheels, with, like, handlebars and a seat, correct? This bitch had four wheels. So four I, wheels. I, I, I oh, had you have training wheels. wheels. Oh my god, how young How young school. were you? In elementary school. I don't remember how old I was, but I was in elementary school. <laughs> He's still riding dirty though. Okay, continue. Um, so I'm like in front of my old friend's house and I'm like going down their driveway. I shit you not, the biggest truck I have ever seen comes almost like damn near full speed at me and then just stops. And I'm just looking at it like what the fuck? Uh, I'm looking at it like it was like a dragon or something. Deer caught like, headlights. Did you, did you pull it off like a fucking badass to where you just sat there and it like stopped yeah. right there in front of your nose and your hair just kind of whisked a little bit and you just looked up like a badass? Like I a, literally sat there and I'm like, what just happened? Like my life flashed before my eyes. Like an intro um, to a Marvel movie. Avengers! Yeah, that's that's what I thought it was. Yeah, that's how I I'm, I'm about to get scooped up by Iron Man or some shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that's how I'm seeing it. <laughs> well, well uh, real quick, while everybody else is thinking, I actually had, uh, I used to ride bikes or ride my bike to school and everything. But the thing is, is that at that time I was down there in uh, Central Florida, Gulf Coast, on what was called um, US 41, pretty much the Dixie Dieway, you know, like Dixie Highway, you know, like every, there's a wreck there every day. Uh, like here, but down there. So I was riding my stepdad's three wheeler, you know, like the old folks three wheeler bikes. Yeah, yeah. So and and the thing is, is that we, me and my buddy, we would um, we would try and uh, see how long we could ride on just two wheels, like hike it up and just you know, like like riding like Dukes of Hazard style. Yeah. So we were doing that. And I came off this curb onto oncoming traffic on US 41 because I landed and the, the, you know how like sometimes uh, if your handlebars are perpendicular to you, like going straight, but the wheel is like 45 degrees (laughs) the other way. Mm -hmm. So it just launched me into the fucking street and people were like, it's like, like all the way around me. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh my god, it was very, very, very close. I was like, all right, I don't think I want to go home now. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah, that was <laughs> that was a, pretty funny. That's all right. a crazy experience right there. Yeah, and in Florida too. So nobody's nobody gives a shit about hitting a biker. Oh, yeah. yeah, no. All right. Uh, you still have nothing? No. I have two that are fairly oh, recent. God. All right, gotta, let's hear them. How about the, the person who hasn't watched Star Wars? Yeah, the, yeah that's Casey. That's Casey. Yeah. She's, she says she has two. 
that are so, fairly oh. recent. Okay, like with recent. Oh, are you talking about when you almost hit the goose with my truck? <laughs> no. <laughs> Get this <laughs> shit, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> I mean Jacob. Okay. She's <laughs> she's. We have this fucking <laughs> pond over here. And she constantly thinks like, man, I almost missed, I almost got that fucking goose. It's like, no, don't hit the geese. Because then I have to talk, talk to the HOA and then you have to clean the truck and then we have to deal with a dead ass goose. What, she, so she wanted to hit it. Yes. Oh, she's like, God damn, my high score. God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, See, in Florida, was, we, we used was, to say that blue hairs were uh, 50 points. <laughs> I was driving oh, home from... I, I, I love... Wow. I was wow. driving home from Salem the points? other day, and I hit a fucking bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. In the car. An actual <laughs> bird, like a little bird, like, the, you know, you see in your backyard. I swear mm. to God, I didn't see it fall, so I pulled over... You fucked up that cardinal. <laughs> oh. Like, oh. we were it in the... Like, I was cardinal. sleeping in it the was car. Like, it looked like a or in sparrow. The truck. It was probably a robin or a little finch. But or a tit. <laughs> either way. See, I, I got to say tit while being accurate. Tit. Either way, I fucking hit that bitch wow. at forty mile an hour. But you fucking pummeled that thing. Kyle. Forty miles an hour. A little itty bitty bird. If it tells you anything. I bet you you were like <laughs> And you're aiming I, you for just, it. No, I wasn't actually. I, I just bullshit. Want to bring up, if it Davenport. tells you anything, I was sleeping I, and all I hear was a. And I was like, the okay. fuck was that? And I was like, can you get out and look and see if it's stuck in the grill? Because if it is, I'm taking it home to Kyle as a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but you'd pull in and then we'd have that clip of the security camera. You just rolling in and there'd just be this <laughs> fucking like this flat ass bird on that fucking one headlight just like with a surprised look on its face what the fuck man <laughs> I swear to god stop uh, killing god's creations with my truck it Maybe shuts we up want it's to. suicidal and flew in front of me okay no if you're gonna Anywho. kill if you're gonna kill god's creation you take the bb gun and you fucking Shoot the squirrels. Shoot these fucking squirrels. Dude, I skinned, <laughs> I scalped a fucking squirrel with a BB gun. Oh my gosh. And it, has, it gun. had seizures until he finally finished it off. Yeah, I had to walk out there and fucking, you know, g- give him a double tap. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I got it. If he didn't move, he would have just been a good kill shot. <laughs> Motherfucker <I> move. <laughs> and it's like, but like, I scalped the motherfucker. He's like, what? It's like a little off the top, please. <laughs> oh, my God. You could, Like, there was, like, brains and shit all over the place. It was cool. Uh, it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because my dad used to feed the squirrels here at this and house. And then we only have one phone line going to the house because of said squirrels. And they live in the fucking attic. Now we got rid of the feed and he bought this 14... 14- Hundred uh, foot per second, goddamn a BB gun. He's like, take them all out. <laughs> I'm like, yes, sir. <laughs> well, that sounds fun. Yeah, it is actually. <laughs> but um. All right, s- story number two. That first one wasn't one where I almost died. That was just where I killed a bird. Okay, story number one then. <laughs> so. You see what I have to deal with. I was yeah, I feel bad on you. daily basis. I was in a vehicle with Clyde and Ash. Oh God! And I, we were going from Walnut Ridge in Salem to Scottsburg. We were going the back way. Mind you, the headlights on this car are not great, and there is many things wrong with it. Well, we're in a little... Obviously, not my truck. No. Okay. Fuck no. Don't get nasty. But we're doing like 40 down the road, and it's like fucking midnight. Highlights, headlights aren't great. It's that 10th grade ignorant shit. Yeah. For real. <laughs> For real. But. This motherfucker got that 10th so grade ignorant. Clyde's got me holding onto the fucking phone over here, looking at the GPS, telling him where to go. GPS said to go straight. So, okay. 
We went straight. We didn't see there was a fork in the road with a ditch right there and a fucking electrical pole over here with fucking guard wire right off of it. Yeah. So we fucking hit the guard wire, take off the mirror, go into the ditch, fly up, fly about 40 feet, and go splat. And the first thing we all you, say... You, uh, say that again? Splat. You go splat. what? Splat. No, say it again. Splat. No. We go... Splat. Like, like, no, like, say it. We go splat. Thank you. Christ. Don't yell at me. You're not my supervisor. Uh huh. Now. <laughs> You're not the first my thing, father. The first thing that fucking Clyde does is he looks at me as I'm sitting here after the airbag went off and my fucking life flashed before my eyes. I'm thinking my hand is broken because the airbag hit it full force and I'm gripping this phone. All I fucking hear is. Bro, we just do some hazard in that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I look at him, I go, your sister's knees are fucked up. She flew up out of the seat, the lid to the you center You just can't console. enjoy anything in the moment, can you? We fuck it. She flew up because she wasn't wearing her seatbelt. And the lid to the center console slid underneath her. She fell on it and slammed forward into both seats knee first. Should have worn your seatbelt. That's what we told her. <laughs> and then she goes to the fucking hospital. And they tell her, well, it's a good thing it was just a skateboarding accident because she can't tell them that it was a fucking car accident. So she told them it was a skateboarding accident. So she got. She must have gotten real rad, real hard. The fucking <laughs> doctor looks at her and goes, it's a good thing that it wasn't a car accident because you would have shattered your knees. Oh, my God. And then the second wow. one, I was with Trinity and Tater and Darren and JJ. And we're back in Walnut Ridge. <laughs> And we're doing 50 down this fucking gravel road. This road is known for flooding. It had been raining for six days prior nonstop. JJ decides to fucking floor it. Oh, bound to be dry by now. <laughs> JJ decides to fucking floor it. One second, the road is, you know, gravel. The next, it's clear and reflected, and the Jeep is encompassed with water, and we're all trying to figure out how the fuck to get out. Oh, I remember. I remember that story. Yeah. My life flashed before my eyes again, and Trinity almost pushed me off the top of the Jeep on accident. Coming in hot from the top rope! <laughs> <laughs> Tater literally had to guide me through the water because I was having a panic attack because I'm deathly afraid of water. Wow. That, yeah. uh... Don't and, go on submarines. And, and those, <laughs> oh my are, God. those are both within the past five months. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get you on the next... I'm not going to buy you a seat on the next uh, submersible. Good. Yeah, yeah. Just, good. Yeah. Good. No. Good. Good. No. Good. Good. I remember this one time. <laughs> oh, this is a fucking... Oh, I you know what? We may have to code call Dale. Oh, Lord. Um, but my best friend, Dale, mm -hmm. and it was not the Colorado that I have now. It's the, uh, like the body style before that. Mm -hmm. And this thing, you know, extended cab, uh, you know, real torquey engine and shit. And we're fucking around out east, you know, like uh, just like slinging dirt around, not mud and just, you know, yeah, yeah. you know, like, filled fucking pretty much. Mm -hmm. So and my buddy Dale is in, is driving. I'm in the front passenger seat. And then we have our friend. uh Sea Huck behind me and his girl Jay behind Dale. And I guess we hit one of those like little like blind divots like in the middle of the field. And he rode up on two wheels, like in that one James Bond movie. To where oh, like yeah, yeah. yeah, like you know how he goes through the barn one way and he comes out the other way. Yep. <laughs> so Imagine me being in the passenger seat of my brand new truck mm -hmm. and it's up on the right hand side, the, those two wheels. I could literally touch the ground out of the window with very little effort. Oh, and it boy. felt like he held it forever. Is this why you won't be a passenger when I drive the truck? One of them, yeah. <laughs> and he, it felt like he held it forever. And then he. And like he's he's holding it, he's holding it, and then he slams it back down, and then he hits the fucking brakes. Jay in the back seat starts having a panic attack, 
Seahawk behind me is laughing his ass off. I'm laughing my, laughing my ass off. But then once we stop and I realize that we're not dead, I look to my friend Dale and it's like, never again will you ever drive my truck. <laughs> <laughs> it was to this day. He's like, he'll still tell that fucking story. And it's like, man, I got wild in your truck, dog. It's like, man, shut the fuck up. Like I was about to, I was about to hit him. <laughs> if you don't have an, if you don't have a near death experience with your best friend, you guys aren't best friends. Oh no, there's <laughs> plenty of them with uh, yep. my buddy Dale. Yep. Oh man, I can go on. You guys for... are true best friends. Uh, he's he's like my brother, you know. Yeah. I m- I met him, like I moved down to Florida from here in um, sixth grade. Yeah, sixth grade. And he was the first person I ever met. And that yeah. was God. Two thousand. Uh, Jacob, dude, you're more than welcome to be on the podcast whether it be in person or calling in like this, you've been a treat. Thanks, man. I, I, I loved being here, man. Yeah. You have fun. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty nice. All right. Well, we're probably going to record a little bit later. Uh, if not tonight, maybe tomorrow. So maybe we'll give you guys a call again. Uh, Salem. Yeah. Sorry that we broke out on you. Salem. I love no, you. Okay. At least we get along with your man. <laughs> <laughs> Drinking is good for something. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Here, let, let's say good nips real quick. Pull it up. Do some fucking shot. Let's go for alcohol. So yeah, we talked about uh, horrible deaths and um, yep. near death experiences. Yeah, and um, how how underwater stuff is meant for the fishes and not for humans. And how I like to kill yep, birds. Exactly. And how you <laughs> like to like bonk every bird <laughs> on the way. I have to show you something. There is no, actual, you don't. There you is don't. residue on the headlight of the truck where I killed that bird. And why I, why no, is it not clean? I, I, why I is it not clean yet? There's something that I, I want to bring up. Wait, this hold on. bitch. <laughs> this bitch. <laughs> yeah. What about me? <laughs> I remember being on call with you on Messenger, and you fucking straight up told me that you wanted to hit a fucking goose. You're like, fuck them geese. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding you. I sat there and I'm like, what is wrong with this bitch? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Geese are fucking assholes. They act like no. They you don't know. Place. You don't know asshole hey, geese. Geese are nice. You don't. Bullshit. You, you don't know asshole geese Must until being unless so you like rewind to when I was growing up on this property, <laughs> and there was all them white geese that would just sit there and just strut around the fucking property. And the the alpha goose, <laughs> the alpha, didn't have uh, most of his top bill, so all you saw was this weird tongue. <laughs> and he would like, <laughs> and then he would like, you know, dip his head down, raise his he- wings up, hiss, and then go after my dad. Oh my! While God. on the mower, and I just remember my dad taking his hat off and like swatting. He's like, "Get the fuck out of here! God damn it!" <laughs> but yeah, no, oh. these geese are cool. These are Canadian geese. These they're geese? very polite. No, they are not. Yes, they are. No, they're not. They in fucking- the middle of the road. They're not. Oh my God. They were no. You can ask Randy this whenever she gets back. But she probably me. lie to me. Probably, but like probably have to take that out. Yeah. Um, they were literally barricading us from getting into the driveway. Really? Day. What were? Okay. It if, was either I hit them or I honk at them, and if I honk at them, they just honk back. Honking is their language. They just honk back and they look at me like I'm stupid. Okay, well then inch <laughs> forward. What what would they gain if they actually, <laughs> really, if they truthfully <laughs> organized? They they were smart enough to organize and say, okay, th- okay, there she go, there she go, right there, and we're gonna we're gonna block the fuck out of this bitch. Watch. All right, what would they have to gain? Nothing. A piece of bread. <laughs> That's true. 
What's up? Oh, there she go. There she go right there. Oh, shit. Yo, hey. Assemble. Assemble, geese. Avengers assemble. Dude, hey, Mallard, you in? You in? Okay, no? Okay. We'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dumbass. <laughs> Anyways, I want to thank you both for being part of the podcast. I hope you had a good experience. And I had a great experience. Yeah, dude. I want to thank you. I mean, it's it's <laughs> this is one of those uh, times to where when it flows, it flows, and I don't want it to stop. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, uh, I'm sure Salem, you know, you know the uh, the the ins and outs and the the links, right? For the podcast. Uh... <laughs> I believe so. If if not, just uh, actually impromptu promo. Uh-oh. Good band name. So, if you want to follow us and uh, see what else we have to say in the last couple of years, um, you can catch all of our episodes on uh, RSS on every streaming platform. Just go on YouTube or uh, you know Practically Friends podcast. But if you really want the full experience, just go to practicallyfriendspodcast.com and every link is on there. And uh, yeah, give us a follow. Give us a listen. Yeah. And uh, give yeah. us an email. You know, t- take our voices and make us sound like we are racist or something. Splice it together. Oh. Let's have fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys very much. Uh, if we don't uh, record again tonight, we'll probably uh, record tomorrow. And I, I hope you guys... I don't know what your plans are tomorrow. Uh, I don't really have any plans tomorrow. Okay. Well, uh, just don't don't be uh, surprised if we give you guys a call. Yep. No, okay. I won't be. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Yep. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. How the fuck do I hang up? You just uh, need the voice channel. Here, hit that button right there. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yay! I figured it out. And I loined.